Okay, uh, so Amy, uh, I think you're quite close to Amsterdam science part, right? Yes, I am. I, I think that if you go to, uh, so there's a cycle path that goes from Amsterdam Science Park and, oh, and then you can cycle along the canal for a bit and then you go through waste, which is quite nice. And then you can cycle all the way to Busum. So we did this one last summer and it is actually quite nice because Busum is like a completely surrounded. It, it, it has like a moat around the whole city. Uh, so it's a very, very nice uh, cycle path. And it's quite short. I think for you, it would be um, maybe under an hour, you should be there. Um, okay, now I'm hoping that everybody else is, who is this thinking? Who is this guy? Uh, what is he talking about? Why is he ignoring the rest of us? Uh, and what is he, what, what's the point of this talk? That was exactly my point. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm doing this in a presentation. Usually you start by saying, hi, uh, my name is Carlos Martinez. I work for the eScience Center and I'm going to be talking to you about readme files. That's the part of the presentation where you usually introduce yourself and tell people, this is what I'm going to be telling you in the next five to 10 minutes. Uh, so I deliberately asked Amy to help me to do completely the opposite to show a bad example of how you should not make a presentation uh, because it's the same thing that you have uh, with the readme file. So I'm going to be telling you about uh, readme files, uh, how readme files are useful to communicate about your project. Uh, so readme files are really like a, the welcome, uh, the welcoming uh, part of your project. They're uh, the presentation card for your project, uh, where you would say, okay, this is my uh, introduction card. This is uh, my project. This is what my project is about. This is what my project does. And it should provide you all of the uh, initial information for your project, for what are you going to, do, what this project is about, what, the, I don't know, if it's a software project, uh, what type of, uh, software it is, which dependencies it uses, on which language it's written, what's the, uh, what problem it solves. So uh, these are all the things that you want to have in your readme file when, for introducing your uh, project. When somebody finds your project on GitHub uh, and they read your readme file, that's the first thing that they see, that's the first impression that they have about your project. And that's the, uh, basically that's the moment where people meet your project and that's a, a, either they like your project or they don't like your project. Either they will use your software or they will not use your software. But a readme is very important because it's that first moment that is that introduction to your project. It's, the, it's your project's landing page, is your project's presentation card. So uh, that's why the readmes are uh, very important. Uh, usually readmes in GitHub, uh, you on software projects, you just have a file, which is a plain text file called readme with all capitals uh, or readme, uh, mark, you can use markdown on readmes as well. Um, and that's the, the first page that you will have on your GitHub repository. Um, so in your readme, what are the important things that you should have in your readme? It, you should say what, what your pr project is doing, uh, for whom uh, and why. So this is really the, the giving the context to your project. Um, if you should tell uh, what makes your project special, why uh, did you build this uh, new software library that does the same uh, that other libraries, what sets your, your specific software or your specific tool or your specific project apart from other projects that are already uh, out there and how to, how to get started. So if this is a software project, how would you install this tool or how would you use it? Uh, or if it's a, a, I don't know, if it's a book uh, like the Turing way, how, how you would get started contributing to this project or how would you get started using this project? Um, and you should, it's also, also always a good idea to uh, point to useful resources about your project. Uh, so again, if it's a software uh, project and it's already distributed through um, 
package manager, where can you find the uh, links to you to the package manager that man manages your software? Or uh, if this is the, uh, the the readme for a project uh, and you have a website, maybe you also want to point to your website. Uh, so where are all the other resources uh, that are useful are, and relevant for your project? OK. Um, so again, uh, in terms of uh, bad examples, good examples, if this was my software project and this is my readme file, this is a terrible readme file. Uh, so it has the name of my project and it tells you how, uh, how do I run my code and how to cite my paper. But it doesn't tell you what my software does, uh, why would you use it, in which context would you use it, uh, what problem does it solve, um, how is it written? Where is the documentation? So there is absolutely no information about it. Maybe it's useful for me to remember how to run my code. Uh, but even for myself in three weeks time, I will forget what my project was about. And I will remember, was this the tool that I was using for this? No, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. So uh, I think this is the uh, best example I could think of of a terrible uh, readme file. Uh, maybe the, the only thing that could be worse is to not have a readme file at all. Uh, now, uh, a good example. This is uh, the, uh, the readme file from uh, the Turing way. Uh, this tells you what is the Turing way. Uh, it tells you that it's a lightly opinionated guide. And it tells you that it's aimed for researchers. And I think, uh, yes, it also tells you where can you find the uh, the guide and in, in a readable format and not in the uh, readme file format. Uh, so you can go to touringway.netlify.com. So it's telling you what it does, who it's aimed for, uh, points you to useful resources. Um, and one thing that I love is that it, it even points you to readme file in different languages. So that's uh, a really nice example of a readme file. Um, so um, yeah, so that, th those are the main things that you, that I think you should be uh, thinking thinking about when you write your uh, a readme file. Uh, so uh, reiterating what I've already said, it's the welcome message to your uh, website. You should share uh, all the uh, important information about your uh, project. What's your project uh, mission, vision? What you want to do with this project? And it's also a good place where you can uh, link to relevant information, for example, licenses, code of conduct, um, which, as we just heard uh, from how it's uh, important to state your license uh, for uh, software projects and other types of projects. Um, another thing that you, uh, I think it's important to consider is where your uh, software is going to where your readme is going to be used so if you write your readme on github and maybe this is a little bit i'm, I'm switching to a very uh, software specific uh, example uh, but if you're so if you write a software tool and your software is on github uh, your users will look at your readme on github uh, but they will also be able to see your readme in other places because once you connect your GitHub account with other places, your readme gets like harvested by uh, Docker Hub or by uh, PyPy, um, and your readme ends up in other places as well. And maybe it also uh, your uh, if you generate a, a website automatically from your GitHub repo, your readme ends up there as well. So uh, it's always useful to think how is your how are your readers going to read the readme so uh, try to always uh, consider who's going to read your readme file and in which context they are going to uh, read it yeah so uh, readme files context uh, now, uh, what are my uh, uh, top tips for README? I think this is an exercise, I believe, that we want to do later. Uh, but um, basically, I think that uh, my take home message on README files uh, is that you should always uh, try to be clear and try to always think of uh, your reader, always think who's going to read it, 
uh, what information do they need, what will they learn from this uh, readme file, and uh, what do I want them to learn by uh, reading my readme file. So what is the information that I want to convey to them?